In this presentation, you will learn how to solve a story problem using strip diagrams, and you will also learn about all your four steps of problem solving. This is the story problem. In a small town, one third of the area of the park is used for a playground. The playhouse occupies one quarter of the area of the playground. The question is, what fraction of the park is the playhouse area? So let's review Paulia four steps. Step one, understand the problem. Step two, devise a plan. Step three, carry out the plan. Step four, look back. Now let's begin to solve the problem. So again, step one, understand the problem. What does it entail? It's about answering questions like, what are the quantities? How are they related? And what is it that I'm finding? Yeah. For the first questions, the quantities are the area of the park, and then the playground area, and the playhouse area. Then, what are the information provided to us in this story problem? We were told that the playground area is one third of the park area, and the playhouse area is one quarter of the playground area. So, what am I finding? I'm trying to find the playhouse area is equal to what fraction of the park area. So let's recap. These are the three quantities that are involved in this problem. And we were told these two relationships. Then the question is, the playhouse area is what fraction of the park area? So now that we have understood the problem, let's devise a plan. That means we have to design a problem-solving approach. So in this case, let's use strip diagrams. So we need to draw strips for these three quantities. We can draw any, a strip of any size for the park area. But for the playground area, we need a strip that is shorter and the playhouse area even shorter. But how short? So that we will make use of the relationships that are given to us. So let's now proceed to solve the problem, that is to carry out the plan. So we know that the playground area is one third of the park area. So what we can do is to cut the park area into three equal pieces. And the playground area is one third of it, right? Then the playhouse area is one quarter of the playground area. So again, we cut the playground area into four equal pieces. And the playhouse area is just one out of the four equal pieces. Okay, so then the question is to find what fraction of the park area is equal to the playhouse area. So that means we need to relate these two quantities. So essentially, we are asking what fraction of the park area is playhouse area? How can we answer the question? So what we could do is to see that the park area actually is made up of 12 equal pieces and playhouse area occupies just one out of the 12. So that's why the answer is one twelfth of the park area. So we are done, right? Okay, the fourth step is look back. So what does it mean? It's just to check is the answer reasonable. So another way is to look for a different method to solve it. We can solve this problem mathematically without using pictures. How? By using equation. So we know playhouse area is one quarter of playground area. And since we were told that the playground area is one third of the park area, we can write it this way, right? So one quarter of one third of park area. And we know of means multiplication. Now we can actually multiply the first two, two fractions to get one twelfth. So that's why the answer is indeed equals to one twelfth of the park area. Done? So we can also actually visualize this problem using an area model. So let's represent the park area using this green rectangle. 
and then we were told that the playground area is one third of the park area. So again, we cut into three equal pieces, and one of them is the playground area. Then the next piece of information says that the playhouse area is one quarter of the playground area. So if we cut into four equal pieces, and one of them is the playhouse area. Okay, so we know that the answer is one twelfth of the park area, right? But how do you see the one twelfth in this picture? So what we could do is to extend the lines, and indeed you will see that the playhouse area is one twelfth of the park area. So, we are done. So let's move on to the conceptual understanding of fractions now. now my question is, is it correct to say that the playhouse area is 1 12? The answer is no. Why? Because we need to mention the reference hole for the fraction 1 12. That means 1 12 of what? So, it's actually one twelfth of the park area, right? The playhouse area is one twelfth of the park area. Now, can we also say that the playhouse area is one quarter? Yes, provided we again tell people what is the one quarter of. In this case, the one quarter is one quarter of the playground area. So, in summary, Every time we use a fraction, we need to mention its reference hole. That means we ask, this is a fraction of what? For example, one twelfth of what? One quarter of what? Alright, that's it. So may you be a mathematical thinker.